Dr. Frankenstein didn't create his monster because it would move signs forward. Mary Shelley said it was because he was two things. Prideful and lonely. A horrible combination at that. Our creations entail purpose, which is why most humans feel necessary. And according to the multiverse, you're here because it is necessary that you are here. You were necessary. I felt like a flower being kissed with more pollen, like rain in the desert of the universe when you make the right choice. And all I heard was that I was necessary, not even wanted. Need would suffice, but want drew me in like an aunt who tries to keep you because they pay her more. Child support. I said, come in, I have an open door. So my demons walked in wearing suits, ties, and something to make me feel wanted. And now I'm on the ground feeling lonely without them. My smile is only about half the size of the blunt I can roll. But I know not having them isn't why I thought of you when you left me on the floor. My now bent nose bleeding on hot concrete. I wish that was in a form of saying goodbye. It's just the best we could do sometimes. I whispered to the homeless man inside my head. A secret briefly kept. It felt like I lost my home when you left. When even how much I miss you doesn't change the fact that you are gone, I tell him that I'm okay. I still feed my demons lunch every day. Another puff and pass, no act of good class or serenaded song from my homies past. I cling to the burning trees here in God like Moses who swore he can out see. Didn't mind if addiction felt like honey passing through the soul. Like the wind that meets a spark of my lighter in the dark. Carving letters in our hearts, making patterns as their start on a loop, a crazy part. Sometimes that's my favorite part at the door. You hear my knock. Rest in peace. The final part. I'm not sure whether how I feel about anything will make a difference for my sadness. So I feel like there are parts of me that my mind will always know how broken they feel. Like it understands no amount of notebooks I own will be used as my therapy. It's all simply part of who I am, all the hurt inside of me, all that makes up my own universe. And how I manage sometimes must be with a heavy heart. So long as I manage, I have the least an opportunity to change how I think of things. And as long as that opportunity is present, I might feel happy one day might feel different feelings of short breath and how my little sister laughs or the sound of my mother crying in a shower where no one will hear her the memory of my younger brother and our first fight on the way back from the snow as long as I manage there is a possibility that I might feel joy and that's all I need much of how the world is shaped for those nearest to me depends on my ability to love them that I love them through the things I create, I hope they will see. That in the process of reconstructing my identity, they see it as possible to be reconstructed. And if it is least possible for somebody broken, then they might feel that it is possible for them. So to note how art moves people forward is to note that expression is necessary. To believe that it can move the heart when it is bruised, that is all that it takes. So at least if the heart is managed, then it has moved, and it can continue. And that is the most truthful idea that we can possibly come to know. It's not celebration, not inspiration, not a candy, not a mystery. The best we can come to understand of the largest picture is at least we're painted on it. <laughs>